Hi there. So today in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play an arrangement of You Gotta Walk, That Lonesome Ballad for Three Finger Style Banjo. This is heavily inspired by Mississippi John Hurt's version uh, on the guitar. So I'll link to a video of him playing that below. I also did a transcription of that video. So if you want to learn it on the guitar, I'll have a video for that as well. Also linked below. Uh, before I play through this, I will tell you the tab will be in the video, but if you want a PDF of it, so you can put it on your wall or whatnot, or just look at it and all in the same time, uh, that will be available on my Patreon, so maybe consider supporting me. All right, let me start this out. One, two, a one. <laughs> how it sounds. Let me talk quickly uh, uh, about kind of the chords, the form, and maybe a little bit about the inspiration here. So if you watch Mississippi John Hurt play this, he is just playing the melody, just like what we're doing here, right? You got to walk that lonesome valley, right? He's playing it on the guitar. He does kind of this cool octave thing, um, but he never really plays through the chords. There's the, the chords here are kind of not important. The song, as he plays, it doesn't really have chords. It's essentially just a melody in the key of G. Uh, and he kind of follows it by going A, uh, sorry, G, A, B, and just playing that melody. And that's that's a way of playing a lot of tunes. Uh, some tunes you have to acknowledge the chords, other tunes you don't. This one, we're kind of hiding it. Uh, so I don't think learning the chords on this are that important. That said, I'm going to put the chords up here because if you're playing with a group of people and you just want to jam it for a while, it's nice to know what the chords could be. So probably the most common way of playing this chords would be, um, you got to walk, that's a G, that lonesome valley. Then you got a D chord, it for yourself, ain't nobody. So going on G, can walk it for you. You got to walk that D chord again for yourself. So it's just two chords. That'd be what I would suggest. That's how I think most people would play it. But I mean, that said, you could do whatever you want. You know, you got to walk that lonesome valley. You got to walk it for yourself. Ain't nobody else. I'm gonna walk it for you. You got to, I don't know, walk in that valley for you. Oh no, let's go walk. That was a, kind of a bit of a tirade. Um, if you've never done reharmonizations like that and that interests you, uh, I'm doing a video about that, or I have done some videos about that in my Melody of the Week program. So, uh, you know, you can check that out if you're interested. I'll put a link to something. Okay, let's get into the tab here. So the first little line, we have this pickup here. Uh, so the melody just goes, and this is a really cool kind of pickup where we start with this little forward roll, uh, and we get this. That's how that sounds, just by itself. Now, uh, actually, before we get too much into this, most of this is forward roll style. So we do a little more complicated stuff, like I do kind of like a Foggy Mountain Breakdown style of it, um, and I do kind of a couple missed notes and a couple like double stops, that sort of thing. But if you don't know the forward roll, uh, I would really spend a lot of time doing this. <laughs> That said, let's, uh, here's the pickup one more time. Right now, I'm basically doing everything here with my middle finger following that melody. One thing I think is kind of interesting to mention in the second bar here, I want 
wanted to hit G twice, and I think it's boring to go G, D, G, E, D. So instead of hitting G, when I when you have a couple Gs in a row, it's kind of a cool trick where you hit one of them open, and then you slide to another G. So these are the same note. All right? All right. Uh, the next line, we're going to that A note. So we do a little hammer on here and just a forward roll. Now what's kind of tough here, and actually I'm going to show you, because I think I did this when I sang and I made it a little bit of an easier version. So I'll put this easier version up first, and then we'll talk about kind of the more harder versions. The easier version is I hammer on into a forward roll here. Exact same thing again. Then I go up to the four. These are double stops. That's a little bit tough here in the sense of these double stops are thumb and middle. And because I hit this fifth string here with my thumb, the last double stop here, the open one, is going to be index and middle. So catch that. That's maybe a little tough. So that's essentially the, the basic version of what, what I am uh, wanted to play there. Just a forward roll with that melody of A, B. But uh, to make it a little more complicated, I do this thing where I just keep the forward roll going. So I'll put that up here. This is what the version I played at the beginning would sound like. So yeah, we have a little bit of a pause there where I'm just holding that note. And you'll notice I'm getting a little bit of bending here to try to make it sound a little more bluesy. Um, so that's a little bit of a tougher version. So get the first one down first. And then uh, if that's super easy, then try this one right away. Uh, but it has that pull off here. Oh. Uh, and that last thing again is double stops with the thumb, double stop with the index in the middle. Following on here, now we have this extra note ringing from this double stop when we go into the next line, so we kind of miss this first beat. One. So that's, again, a forward roll. And this is kind of what I'm doing here. G, 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 E, D. But I'm trying to hit the G on different strings each time. G, 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 E, D. So all this double stops, just thumb and middle finger the whole time through. Now we're going into this uh, forward roll section here at the end where we just do a forward roll slide into this B note. And then we have A, B, A, G. Yeah, and that's it. I think really the only tough part here is if you're comfortable with a forward roll is uh, that part where I push it forward. And that push, we call that a push when you're playing a note a little before where you want. One, two, three, four, or sorry. One, two, three, four, one. But I'm going one, two, three, four, and. Or one, two, three, four, and. So that's often done with the, uh, when you want to push things on the banjo. We often do this thing where we hit the beat with the, the thumb, and then we get the push that we want with our index finger. Anywho. Uh, yeah, that's that one. I think there's not too much to say about this. I hope you enjoy playing it. I think it's not too hard of an arrangement. It's kind of fun. Uh, let me just play through it at a slow tempo so you can kind of hear how it sounds, see the temperature going by, play along with it. Here we go. A one, two, a one, two. A one, two, Good luck with this one. Hope you have fun. Bye.